Now Patrick Yeboah. Just play Canada. Who knows? Hey, I'm not going to play. It's not a fight at all. Sadiq can make a play. Sadiq Adams, he gets a hat trick. Sadiq Adams gets a hat trick. Kumasi has sent it on the court. Lit with three goals. Five minutes. We are not saying 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 we That belt from Michael Ekufo, you have to go back to April 2012 when Maxwell Kunodu won that fixture against Accra House of Oak, setting him up to win the 22nd title for Kumasi Asante Ikotoko. House of Oak had equalized courtesy of Mahatma Otu on the 91st minute, and within the restart, Michael Ekufo belter sent the whole stadium into something different that. If you are a fan of Kumasi Asante Kotoko, you always look back and say, if there was a roof, that roof would have completely been uprooted. DS is an army of red, an army so fast that they promised by their motto to return with a thousand. If same should fall in a battle, you do not beat Asante Kotoko. Time simply runs out. You know this because win or lose, the passion from their thousands of fans burns red. They've been the dominant force at home winning 24 Premier League titles, the most by any other team. Although the Porcupine Warriors have won just six league titles since the turn of the century, there are still four trophies ahead of their closest rivals across House of Oak. What the Red Army crave is continental conquest to take their rightful place among Africa's top football clubs. The last of their two continental titles came over three decades ago. But with the appointment of a young, vibrant football administrator now in charge, there's a renewed sense that the porcupine's forays into the wild terrain of African football will yield results. Nanaya Amponsa has promised to deliver the CAF Champions League. But that journey begins with asserting themselves locally. So far as he's winning the commercial battle, but can he turn it into a success on the field? Kotoko missed out on the two biggest names of the just-ended transfer window, Asamwajan and Justice Blay. The two may not be wearing the famous red shirt, but there's surely quality in the nine players who put pen to paper. Good evening and welcome to GPL Primer, the Kotoko edition on Joy News. I am Muftar Nabila Abdullahi. We are free to air on your digital television and also on Channel 421 on DSTV and 144 on Go TV. It has been 25 years of first-class journalism with life-changing stories. We continue to tell top stories and serve you the best there is out there. Tonight is not different. It is a special edition of Kumasi Asante Kotoko, edition for GPL Primer. Fridays are special days. That is why we chose a Friday to have you informed, entertained, everything about Kumasi Asante Kotoko as we build up to the new Premier League season. It is going to be fun and entertaining. Relax. Keep your channel on this network for the next one hour. We are grateful you have allowed us into your homes, restaurants, hotels, and wherever you are joining us from. The period you will be spending with us will be worth it. Coaches, players, both current and former, will be speaking to us. In studio, we are one of the most prolific strikers who have ever donned the porcupine colors. After completing a move from Heart of Lions, he scored 17 goals dead past national team commitments, forcing him out of most of the matches. His closest contenders, Dominic Adia and David Anas, scored just four goals less. Overall, he scored 42 goals in 48 matches for Kotoko, wearing jersey number 42. I'm referring to no other person than Eric Kobna Bekwi. We have got a lot from fans, businesses that benefited from Kumasi, Asante Kotoko matches, and more. But before that, we have Asante Kotoko, the tertiary group, the porcupine tertiary. The group that creates the never-to-be-forgotten atmosphere at the stadium on standby to provide that, that stadium atmosphere. And we start out with one special song that I have come to love so much. They say, Apimbeba, Asante Kotoko. 
earlier it is going to be fun packed show and what you just witnessed is a tip of the iceberg we are taking a break and when we do return we'll serve you more on this network Welcome back from the break. Menese is a privilege to be a fan of Kumasi Asante Kotoko because the emblem you see behind me represents an entire kingdom. You are still watching GPL Primer on Joy News with me, Muftar Onabla Abla. You can join the conversation via our social media handles on Joy Sports um, GH on Twitter and Instagram and on Facebook. We are streaming. You can tweet at us using the hashtag GPL Primer. I've uh, already gotten so many messages coming through. We'll hear from the golden boy, Abdul Razak, he has been speaking about the signings, Kotoko's chances of winning the league, and the decision to play their home matches in Accra. Sometimes it may help. Sometimes it doesn't help. Because, you know, every season changing players, of course you need to change one or two or three. 
you see or well, you look for a position that you need you don't think of changing every player oh i need this player let's go and bring him i need this player let's go and bring him no maybe i need a center forward or a striker who wants to score goal or i need a good defender or i need a right back that is the best thing to do but not for going not going for every player you know is good or is around in the, around the town so oh, let's go and bring this player that is not the best of recruitment you see so if it if you talk about Kodoko for last two years and those who are coming now it, it's quite different it's almost they have all, almost gone almost gone that is going to take them some time before they can pick the pieces but i'm not going to say that the recruitment they make is good or is bad but let's start the league and then we see how it goes but then what are you expecting to see from the club this season well as usual Kodoko is always one of the favorites i would say they are favorite to go and win the league it's not so this time around this time they have two or three clubs also in the same position which is not going i think it's going to be a real battle this year um, as i'm saying uh, Kodoko is one of the favorites you have also folk you have uh, mediama you have Adriana, you have ash gold you know these are teams that maybe legon cities and all that they are all coming because they this time most of the teams that they couldn't recruit the best of players before now they are recruiting the same kind of players that you are also you can also get so it's not going to be easy this time around so i hope they will not say Kodoko, we are Kodoko, so we are going to win no we have to work and work and work till that we got where they want to reach the final the final one from you before i speak to the others over here um uh, coach Kotoko are not playing at the babaira sports stadium this time around uh, because of renovation works they've adapted Accra sports stadium what does that make to the team's performance no it doesn't change anything it's just like when you are suspended from playing your your home matches most time they go to Accra, they play they win it's nothing else Kodogo is everywhere it's not Kodogo is not only in Kumasi Kodogo is in Accra it's, even Accra is they are like their home uh, ground yeah. so they can go to Cape Coast and play people will be there so it doesn't change anything that is a legend he ended Kotoko's four-year drought to win the Premier League you would recall that in the early and mid 90s Ash, uh, Ash Gold and Accra House of Oak had dominated the competition and in the 2003-2004 Premier League season he came in and ended that Kotoko drought winning the league title for the Pocky fans. Now let me bring in Eric uh, Bequin into the conversation. You just heard uh, Abrazak mention about the recruitment of Kotoko. He said mass signing is not the best of recruitment. What do you make of Kotoko's decision to go for as many as nine players in the transfer window? Thank you very much. I think he already hit the nail on the wall, whereby, I mean, signing of players uh, is, is not that good for a club because you need to think about the consistency of the team as well. And then also, secondly, when a car is having problems, you don't go for a new car, but you look at the parts that are not functioning. Then you go in for the parts to replace them. So it's not about you signing enough players. You see, when quality is not around, quantity is being appreciated. And that is what is going on. <laughs> you understand? So I think the management are doing their own. All right. But I think about the recruitment, is the coach also playing part? One, Kotoko is like the University of Ghana football. Yeah. I've been saying this all this while. The spirit is in now because this is the jersey I did the wonders with. And this is the jersey that I'm wearing. But you see, that famous jersey that was torn. That was torn. You understand. Whereby in Ghana you have only one jersey to wear. So they have to tie it for you to continue the, the, the journey. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, that's just the funny part of yeah. I mean. But, but, but which areas of the Kotoko setup do you think they, they should have uh, improved? It's all about the striking position because it's sad that it almost passed a decade whereby since the Queen took, because you know, I took all the awards yes. during the 2008. Yeah. I was the top scorer, I was the best player of the yeah. league, I was a uh, king in Africa, and then I was rated 25 in the world. In the world, yeah. Until since 2008 till now, there haven't been anyone to conquer. When I came to Kotoko, there was a certain jeans we had to break, whereby breaking the hat-trick jeans, which was called by Opoque Free. Yeah. But when I came, I came to break the jeans. And you know, there's one funny thing about Bequin and Kotoko. You see the slogan called Ukuma Pima Pimbeba. It goes with my brand also, Bequin. In Akan dialect, we have a proverb that goes that 
They said, but queen being fatana, a fatana kuno. When we, we need men to fight, <laughs> yeah. that's where you find the queen. Yeah. Yeah. What would make Kotoko champions this season? Kotoko going to Africa, I wasn't, I mean, interested in it because I think it should take time for players to gel. We have to blend. The cohesion and everything has to come. Yeah. But it seems we are in a hurry. From day one, I said it that going to Africa is too much in a rush. Because already, I think the king himself, the King Solomon of Ghana and everything, he said, he said it that they shouldn't even sign players. So I was like, so how do we go? Because we've hit the nail once and it's, it got bent. Yeah. So why can't we take time? You know, this COVID was a blessing in disguise for so many things, I mean, the world. I foresee the world going too fast. So this COVID have even slowed tempos down. And this is the time you have to correct all your mistakes. Now we want to go into the academy yeah, system, yeah. whereby you buy, I mean, a little bit of, like the way Coach Azak said, yeah. you buy where you think you have the problem. Then you start with your academy, building players, whereby when you are playing leagues and then, let's say, tournaments and stuff, you have, I mean, a backroom players yeah. to replace them. Yeah. Because looking at myself during our time, we had our first, you can't beat or enter into Code Bashi <laughs> first and ever. No, 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 it's, it's, it's not an easy you thing. See, you see, Eric, one interesting thing is that mm -hmm. most of the players were leaving. And if you have most of your players leaving, you definitely would have to replace. Sure. Maxwell Barcon did not renew his contract. I know his contract expired on October 27. Sure. We had added like the likes of Steven Ayuku mm -hmm. and who were all leaving the club. The club needed to replace them. But one thing you also have to know is, now the principal actors are not earning what they deserve. What do they Management deserve? Management members What do they taking, deserve? They, they deserve, you know, players we are like, excuse my word, we are like women. We need to be pampered. Then you get what you want from us. So you were if, pampered at Kotoko? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, wa it, it wasn't that easy. You know, you can't wash your sack clothes outside. Yeah. But it's not everything that you saw on the screen that was going on. Yeah. You know, as married couples, sometimes you need to cover each other. Because if not because of Kotoko, all the names I was making, I was making it in the dark. But Kotoko brought me to the land. To the light. And I'm always grateful. You understand? So yeah. Kotoko, we don't play it. We worship it. If you come to play Kotoko because of money, you go with disgrace. I, I need that Jama to support Kotoko. <laughs> Kotoko, we don't play for Kotoko. Yeah. But we worship yeah, Kotoko. We worship then, Kotoko yeah. just, just something small. Kotoko, so we go and listen to Malik Jabe. Kotoko is a religion. Yes. So if you are coming and you are not coming to worship, then you are just a passing train. You come and pass and go. <laughs> now, <laughs> you, 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 you need to leave a legacy yeah. when you are playing Kotoko. Yeah. You come with a mission. You write your name boldly in capital letters. Yes. We don't enjoy Kotoko when we are playing Kotoko. When you are done playing Kotoko, I'm even enjoying Kotoko now more than when I was playing because I didn't get time to chill or do whatever I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> And let's go to another legend as my colleague Dalali Atiasi has been speaking to Malik Jaber. He thinks Asamoah should have joined Kotoko. Do you also believe so? It will again boost whichever team that got uh, Asamoah 
his, his, if, if he were to be lucky to have his own stadium, he would make more money than the rest. Everybody would want to see us more than If we look at our days, because of a single player, a lot of people used to come to the stadium. Yeah. So it means that that thing will come back again. Because of certain players, people will now wish to see the game. But I wish he had come to Kotoko. Because I've seen his heart is with Kotoko. But maybe <laughs> we don't have money to take him. So <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> so, but I wish maybe he came to Kotoko. If he had come to Kotoko, he would have had things much easier. But I'm going to struggle in that small. Brought in 10 new players. There's even a Brazilian in there. Um, I'm looking at their preparation so far. They've been in Kofodia for the last three weeks. Yeah. They've come back, they're preparing. Um, uh, would you say, what would you say of their preparation so far? Uh, I don't know exactly what they are doing. Okay. I only heard what they are, they, they are in the process of doing. Yeah. I haven't seen. So I, I, will, I will just say, I am, I am really very happy to hear we are now thinking to broaden maybe the intake of players into Kotoko, good ones. Not, not any player, but good ones. Do you know Kotoko, we, 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 we ever had a, a Brazilian player before? Sure. Yes. And this is going to be about the third time that the you are bringing time. in a Brazilian here. And, and you can see, you could, if you could remember, no, they were all very, very good and they contributed a lot. That is um, a former legend of Kumasi Asante Kotoko, Malik Jaber. Um, he thought uh, Samojan would struggle at Legon Cities. He believes that he should have joined uh, the Pakistan Warriors. Um, Pekwini, do you think uh, Kotoko should have gone for, for Jan? I think from the blast of the whistle, I, I, I wanted to advise my senior brother, Samoa, not to join. The reason being that, you know, when you have a crop of team that is making waves, yes, it's a team, yes, it's a collective something. But you coming in, the expectations that is what you have to look at. Kotoko doesn't try players, Kotoko going for tried and tested players. Yes. You understand? Let's let's call a spade a spade. You understand? Whereby, what, what was the last time Hassan Azar played? What was he doing during his off time? You have to put all this into consideration. Fine, when you're talking about the marketing aspects of Asamoajan, yeah. that one is a different factor. Yeah. We are all here. When Udati Lamte came to Kotoko, yeah. we saw what happened. <laughs> His own brother came. We all I saw what vividly. happened. Yes. You understand? So you don't look only about the marketing aspect. He's a legend on his own now. Yes, yes. And I was advising, he should rather go to a club that he can get the time to prepare himself so well. So when Even he comes to Kotoko, season, the supporters will not give him the pressure. The pressure again because now both fitness, and, because now everything is going to be on the rush yes. for him. Whereby trying for him to pick up his form within a, a short time, Kotoko is going to Africa. Yes. And let's take Aza to Africa. You should think about, God forbid, if things does not work the way he wants to. Football is all about preparation. Yeah. For me today, if I'm ready to play, now if you ask me, if you see me playing, you'll be like, ah, Eric, well, you can go and strike. I'll tell you, I don't have what it takes because I know the kind of sacrifices I pass through to end up at Kotoko. Secondly, as a, he has a crop of players that he played with that made him a Samoa Yes. You can become a star one day, but to maintain stardom is another cost on it too. That's, that's a very good one there. But now let me come to the fans. We, <laughs> we, we paid the money to go and watch. Would you have paid to go and watch? Let, let me come to my gentleman. Yes. Why, why not? So do you think Kotoko should have gone for Jan? Um, there are two sides of each coin. You know, um, as he said, um, with regards to business, that was very cool. But then with his fitness, it will be an issue. Just imagine Kotoko down by a goal. Asamajan coming in. And then it's about 10 minutes more. Um, just the pressure alone can kill you. <laughs> so I think you know, it's good he went to Legon City. Yes, it's good he went. But then for now, <laughs> not now. I mean, pass, pass on the, the mic to him. Let me, yes, yes, you. 
Yes. I, I like your energy. <laughs> I like that energy. <laughs> we, Kotaka had the opportunity of going for Baby Jet. Media reports had said several things about how Kotaka were close to signing him. And even the manager of Asamojan, uh, Sami Enim, actually confirmed to Joy Sports that um, Kotoko tried. Do you think Asamojan would have provided that striking problem? Let's not forget the cancelled Premier League season. Kotoko scored 14 goals in 14 matches and considered seven. Would he, would Jan have been that solution that we needed? Or do you think the current players, the likes of William Poku, the return of Ibrahim Osman from Kim Faisal, these are boys that will deliver for the team? Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they are going to deliver. But um, I want to ask you, who also knew Asamoja was going to score that penalty with Yoruba? <laughs> so, getting him to us being a solution, I don't think that will be the solution. Let's play with our boys and we are going to make it. Let's play with our boys and we are going to make it. Now, let's move on now and bring you some lot more in relation to the, the conversation we are currently having in the studio. Now, you see, I need to gender balance it. I need to speak to you. Let's gender balance the conversation. Please pack the, the mic onto her. Um, talk to me about Justice Blay. We all saw him for Kotoko last season. Unfortunately, the media went to $50,000. Kotoko said the money was so much. We don't have money to go for him. Should Kotoko have gone in for Justice Blay? Well, all I can say is I think the management and the, our CEO, all I know is they are doing a good job in the aspect of Justice Blay coming to Kotoko or staying at Mediama. I think at the right time, he would, he would come, whether he comes or stay at the right time, I know he'll come. But for now, I think they are just doing a good job. So the Blay issue, we should just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who say that Mediama used Kotoko as a conduit to market their player, and now they, they were asking for his exorbitant money for their, for their player. No, but what we also have to understand is Kotoko is a very big player. Yeah, if you want to make it, and you know, you see, the mistake that most of the players have been, Justice Blair is my mate. Okay. As okay. 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 He used to come to me and then talk to me, Senior, how, how did you make it in Kotoko? So I have to lecture him. And luckily, to Jojo was also there. Yeah. So we will lecture him. This is how you play Kotoko. This is how you have to be disciplined. Because let's say you'll be attached to multimedia. Even friends that you have before, you need to reduce those maybe who are arrogant yeah. and all that. Yeah. You need to repackage yeah. your life. Your branding Justice must, must Blair change. Yeah. have done it. He has, I mean, shown that he deserves to play. Most of them who could not justify themselves, they've gone. Yeah. But he did it. So it was left with a matter of sacrifice, like the way he was saying. Yeah. Now it is gone. We should think about those current players who are there now to provide us with the success we've been looking for since. And talking about the success we've been looking for, one man who can deliver that success is a head coach, Maxwell Konedu. In the last 10 years, no uh, coach has been able to accrue as many as 60 points in the Ghana Premier League. Um, his Kotoko setup of 2011-2012 season got 63 points after the end of the, the season. We saw the highlights of the match-winning game when they played against House of Oak. Now let's go and listen to Maxwell Konedu talk about uh, the new signings, what he's looking forward to, and his quest to end that six-year drought of winning the league title. Yeah, we started uh, slowly, but uh, the level the team has gotten to now, we are ready for a league match, even though we are not 100%, but in due course, everything will fall into place and uh, the boys will be playing very well, uh, very soon. We prepared, we played a couple of friendly matches and most of the boys are doing extremely well. Uh, it was just unfortunate uh, we lost uh, Mudasir, which we all know that uh, is one of our top, top, top midfielders. But, you know, others are there to hold the fort whilst uh, he begins his uh, recuperation. But we will we'll be missing him, but others are there to hold the fort. A couple of new guys have joined into the team. How are they settling? Yeah, all the new guys are doing their best. You know, uh, they came in from various clubs and uh, they are putting in their maximum effort. But the old guys are also doing very, very well. 
but we've been giving everybody the opportunity, the chance to showcase his talent. But being new doesn't mean that you are an automatic choice, but you have to fight for your place. But they are doing well, the old guys are putting in everything, so it's interesting to see them train. But uh, they are doing everything in unity. Uh, most of them know each other before they even came to be, be, be here together. So it's like uh, meeting again from some have met in the national team, from some have met in club football, and now they are all protocol players. So we are giving them equal opportunities. They are doing well, the old guys are also proving that uh, they deserve uh, a place. Are you satisfied with the players, what and those? No, it's okay. I mean, transfer windows, when they are open, you have your targets, but when you are able to achieve most of them, like getting most of them, you, you, you build up from there. Uh, you know very well that uh, not all that you want is all that you have. But what we have, I think we can make the best out of them. We are happy with them. What are the three most important things that you want to focus on as we build up to the new season? We want to focus mostly on, you know, uh, keeping clean sheets, as many as we can. That is uh, one of the only time we'll be, you know, amassing points to become champions. We want to keep as many clean sheets as possible. So uh, if we work defensively, you know, starting from the front line, the midfield and in defense, they are doing so well. So we we'll make sure that uh, we we'll send the same mentality into uh, the season when it starts. When you keep clean sheets with the squad that we have, at least we will create a couple of chances and hopefully we will utilize one or two and that will put us a step ahead of the others. And that is why, that is what exactly we want to, you know, build on and, you know, get a lot of points. You hold the record for the most highest points accumulation in the last 10 years, 63 points uh, accumulated. And for the past uh, six years, the club has not been able to win the league. Have you thought about the responsibility that comes with it? You know, majority of the time it's not us, so even though we have a responsibility. But it's the boys that play so well to help us win the, or accumulate that uh, points that we are talking about. You know, when you prepare a team, mentally everybody has to be ready. So if player A is not there, player B can hold the fort. That is what we want to build on. And we shouldn't be okay with scoring one or two goals. We have to keep on going, keep on scoring. And uh, so far, they are doing their best. The goalkeepers are doing their best, the defenders, midfielders, and from the attackers. But we start to defend from up front. And so far, the games we've played, we are happy with whatever contribution every member has given so far. The success of Kumasi Asante Kotoko is dependent on this man. He makes the decisions because he's paid to make those decisions. Whoever he selects must ensure that he gives his all for Kotoko to win. Now let's take a look at the players Kotoko have registered for the season because uh, they decided to put out uh, about a list of 30 players that will lead the Kotoko setup. Now let's take a look at the goalkeepers. Felix Annan, who is the skipper of the side. Kwame Ba, he was imposed last season for the club. Razak Abalora, and then there's also Ibrahim Danlad. He's currently with the Ghana and the 20 national team. Now let's go and take a look at the fullbacks. Ibrahim Imoro, just recently, um, in a friendly game yesterday, he scored a wonderful free kick. There's also Patrick Asma, who joined from Atlanta. Samuel Frimpong and Christopher Netty. These are going to be the fullbacks of Kumasi Asante Kotoko as we move into the Premier League season. For centre backs, Abdul Ghaniou, he is a former league champion with War All Stars. There's Andrew Skojo Apao, a former player of Power Rangers. Yusuf Mubarak, very experienced defender. He has been in the system for six years, three years at Liberty Professionals, three years at Ashgold. We have Adams, a Premier League winner. He was with Adriana Stars. And there's also Habib Mohamed, a former player of. Ashanti Gold. Um, he was signed by CK Akono and he took part in the CAF Confederation Cup. Let's take a look at the midfielders. Adon Frimpong was exceptional in the season that was cancelled. There's also Emmanuel Sarkwadia who was signed from Techima 11 Wonders. Emmanuel Keke, one of the wonderful players we've got in the country, formerly of Kerala United. There's Latif Anabila, formerly of Ash Gold. Mudasiru Salufu, unfortunately, he is out injured. He will not be available for at least four weeks. There's also Godfrey. Now let's take a look at the people who were leading the attack of Kotoko. More on midfielders. 
there's Emmanuel Jemfi, there's Fabio Gama, the Brazilian player, Augustin Okra, Sule Muniru, a younger brother of uh, Sule Muntari, there's Maxwell Bako. Unfortunately, Maxwell Bako is no longer with Kumasi at Santi Kataka because um, due to contracted issues, but he has been registered by the club as and when he renews, he will come back. Martin Entry too is still there. There was supposed to be a loan move to Carola that didn't work out. Strikers, we have Kwame Poku, uh, wonderful player. He currently leads the top goal scorer for Kotoko in the preseason. There's Nabi Keita, Ibrahim Osman. He went to Kim Faisal last season for a loan. He's back to the team. There's Evans Odomako Redu and then William Opoku Mensah. He was also with Kerala United. These are the players who will be donning the colors of the Porcupine Warriors. But now let's have some comments on social media. Social media has been buzzing with lots of discussions about the show, especially on Twitter. Then Joel Hammond, he said, I'm watching all the best champ. And then there's also this one too coming from Good Over Evil. He says that he's watching live and he's enjoying it. Isaac Boachin says he's also watching. There's this one from Efia Pokwa who says that I'm watching and you're doing the opener really, really well. Thank you very much. And uh, Richard Beck, who uh, a wonderful <laughs> Kotoko supporter. If you need everything about Kumasi Asante Kotoko, he's got that information for you. He said, are you watching GPL Primer? The Asante Kotoko edition is on uh, with Muftar Nabila Abdullahi. And then there's another reply that comes in to say, yeah. And then Efia Pokwa also says she's watching. There's Kwame Brooklyn who says, dope show. And then... Derek Ajay Kwatin, he says that we are at, um, at Kotoko Love. The Kotoko, we love you so much. The feeling you have given us tonight eh, is wonderful. And there's Good Over Evil also says he's enjoying it. Um, and no, no, Eric, he says that the best club in Ghana, he said hashtag Joy Sports. There's also one, two from Arizona. He says, please tell Bekui, Asante Kotoko isn't lacking and won't lack. He should relax and enjoy the Asante Kotoko team this season. Eric, relax. Enjoy sure, Kotoko sure. this season. <laughs> we, we all want the best for the team. Yeah, we all want the best for the team. And then, I don't know, Eric again comes to say five loss and he says GPL Primer. Thanks to Joy Sports. This is coming from uh, Kwekus TV. He says thanks to Joy Sports and Muftar Nobla and the credit to Kotoko Media, myself and Gideon Boche. Thank you very much, the Kotoko Media team. You did a wonderful job over there. They were so helpful when we reached out to them. Thank you to the head of communication of the setup, PJ Mose, Moses Entrebenefo. He was a wonderful person when we reached out to him for this to happen. And then there's one tool that's coming from Richard Beck, who again, he says that the gold monger, um, the gold wizard, and the gold hunter, Twasu Eric Beckwin, is live on GPL Primer on Joy News. Uh, the, the comments <laughs> are flooded in, and I cannot, I cannot read everything for number. As the show goes on, I will bring you more. You can join the conversation via our social media handles at Joy Sports on Twitter and Instagram is Joy Sports GH rather. And then on Facebook is Joy Sports GH. We are streaming live. We'll activate the phones later. If you want to speak to us, you can join us. Thank you for your company wherever you are joining us from. This is GPL Prime, Primer on Joy News brought to you by the Joy Sports team and our colleagues in Kumasi. We've already seen one from Dale Atiase. He's been wonderful in this. We've heard from Maxwell Konedu, we've heard from two legends, uh, Abdul um, Razak, the golden boy, there's also Malik Jaber, he also came in, and skipper Felix Andan, we'll be hearing from him soon, and Emmanuel Keyeke, that gentleman who joined the team from um, Carla United. But now, let me just engage the tertiary groups more, or oh, Eric, what do you prefer? Do, do we... Do we let them give us the stadium atmosphere we always experience? Because sure, you're, sure. The, you're the best I've, people they charge I've, every now and then. I've, I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've missed such atmosphere. Because I was the German leader when I was in Kotoko. So oh. I mean, the spirit is entering. And then let's go ahead. <laughs> German leader. Let's go. Let's go. Give us something. Give us something. <laughs>
Spirit, I know you're all in the spirit. Um, I remember Kotoko versus Cotton Sport at the Bawayara Sports Stadium. The atmosphere was incredible, and to the extent that CAF actually acknowledged how the stadium was full to capacity, that clearly tells you the numbers that went to watch that game. And these were the very people who created an atmosphere never to be forgotten. We've heard from the man who selected the players to go on the pitch and get the job done. But the people who run on the pitch and score the goals or protect the team from conceding are the actors. Now let's hear from Felix Annan, who is the skipper of the team. And then we'll also hear from Emmanuel Keke, who joined the club from Kerala United. Actually, uh, it wasn't really easy because, uh, you know, to go, you know, lockdown without doing what you love to do best was a little bit disappointing. But, uh, you know, it's it's a world pandemic that's happened and we had no control over it, so we had to cope with it. Even though we're in the house, we're having a little bit of training, but it wasn't like a team training. So we are all happy we are back. Okay. Uh, as, as the captain, the leader of the team, surely the chemistry will come from you. What sort of conversation have you been having with the new guys as well as the old boys? Of course, uh, it's, 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 it's been great. Uh, I always try as much as possible to always engage the new guys because the old guys, they know the in and out of the club. As for me, to get close to the new guys a lot. And if you see in camp right now, most of the times I try to move with the new guys, try to educate them in, in and out of the club, try to motivate them so that they will feel at home because if they are new, we, we have to bring them close to us so that they will feel the, the vibe of the club. So, so far, so good. It's been great with the new guys. Okay. Captain, it's been six years without the league trophy. Have you figured out what you and your mates have to do to win the league for us this season? Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's hard work and uh, determination and uh, as well as giving our 100% dedication. Uh, you know, this is a big club and uh, each and every season we are Santi Kotoko. We have to fight for every trophy. We know it's, it's been, a, as you say, a little bit of years. We have, we have not won the league and uh, it's hard time. We, we group ourselves and then we move forward so that we bring, you know, the lost glory. So for us, we know it's all about hard work. You know, when we come together as one team, as one family, we work together as one. Hopefully, you know, we can bring back. That is the skipper of the setup in the person of Felix and Amber. Now let's hear from Emmanuel Keke. He joined us from Kale United. He's been speaking about how he's settling in into his new teammates and what he wants to be remembered for for joining Kumasa Santi Kotoko. I'm settling in very well. You know, with the help of the old players and the captain and a couple of them, I'm settling in very well. What sort of responsibility would you say lies on your shoulders? especially coming from uh, your club with a high profile? No, I wouldn't say it would be a personal responsibility. It's a shared responsibility amongst the, the players. We are going to give our maximum best, but we have to fight together to achieve whatever we want to achieve. Okay. What would you want to be remembered for as an Asante Kotoko player? The player that gave out, or that play, they played his heart out. I, I gave everything on the field. That's what I want to be remembered for. Okay. So what is 
your assurance to the fans of us and to as you begin your journey. The best, you expect the best. Mm, the very best. That is the assurance we can give them. They should rally behind us. They should give us their maximum support and we also deliver whatever they want. It's been six years without the league. Are you going to deliver it together with your mate? With the determination that comes so far, I, I believe, surely, we shall be going to give it to them. That is Emmanuel Kereke. He's a midfielder of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. He joined from Karela United. He's been speaking about what he wants to remember for. He wants to be remembered as the player who gave his all when he joined the team. You cannot talk about Kumasi Asante Kotoko without talking about all the stakeholders that are involved in the team. Um, we were in Kumasi. Uh, my colleague, um, Calvin Owusu Ansa, he went to the Babayara Sports Stadium to speak to taxi drivers. He spoke to Piawata sellers. He spoke to Trotro drivers. He spoke to restaurants around the stadium. And they've all been counting their losses that Asante Kotoko will not be at the Babayara Sports Stadium. Ahead of the new Ghana Premier League season, the Barbara Sports Stadium is still under renovation works. This will mean that clubs who normally use the facility for their Premier League home games will be missing out on using the facility. Oh. The biggest sufferer of this would be Kumasi Asante Kotoko, who ideally accrue most numbers on match days. Not just that the fans will be missing out on the porcupines, not playing at the Barbara Sports Stadium. This will mean a lot to most businesses around. Economic activities get to a boom when Kotoko play at the Barbara Sports Stadium. Let's have a quick interaction with the fans as well as the businesses around on what void this absence of Kotoko from Kumasi, specifically the Barbara Sports Stadium, would have on every single aspect of business in and around the stadium. It's a blow to you all, not only Park, all the parts in Kumasi. Because when Kotoko play, then it's a victory. We are all enjoy. So they need to, you know, back up and do things quick for us so that we too can enjoy the election. I'm losing a lot because when there is activity going on at the stadium, sales keeps on improving. But since there is no activity going on at the stadium, there is no sales coming a lot. One of the benefactors of this situation on March days when Kotoko used the Barbara Sports Stadium at the Anloga Junction taxi drivers. It is just about five minutes drive to the Barbara Sports Stadium for fans to troop in to watch games. The absence of the team here would definitely have a toll on their economic boom and revenue generated on March days. Because two lockdown in money and and the fans would be missing out on watching their darling club in Kumasi. If Kotoko is playing yeah, their home city, uh, their home grounds, um, there is some joy in our hearts and people troops to the stadium. So this one, we are going to sit at the back uh, of the television and watch them. So, are some fans of Kumasi Asante Kotoko counting their losses, businesses surrounding the stadium are also counting their losses. 
you heard from the restaurant uh, man, you also heard from the woman, all talk about how they're likely to miss out if uh, Kotoko um, fails to play matches at home. Uh, I've been getting so many messages coming in on social media. Forgive me if I'm not able to read yours. But now let's have a look at uh, some of the partners Kumasi Asante Kotoko have got in terms of uh, sponsorship. We've got the Accra uh, edition of businesses that are also going to benefit from Kumasi Asante Kotoko playing at the uh, Accra Sports Stadium. But we'll bring you that on the Omnibus edition next week. So now let's take a look at the partnerships Kotoko I have. In. Um, I'm connecting over to my colleague Natana Ato who has been looking at the partnerships Nanaya and Ponsa has been able to bring into the club since she was appointed CEO of the club. <laughs> Muftao, it's interesting that you look very good and you'd uh, pass for a number six in that jersey, you know. Uh, but as to whether you'd be able to do well in a number six jersey for Kumasi Asante Kotoko is another question for another day, okay? Well, uh, enough of that for now. Let's now throw the focus once again on sponsorships and strategic uh, partnerships that Kumasi Asante Kotoko has signed ahead of the start of the season. Um, seven of them, but none of them have any disclosed financial details. Well, let's begin with Erea, the uh, kit sponsor. Now, they are going for a three-year deal. Now, this was signed recently, and uh, of course, just uh, yesterday, Kumasi, or two days ago, Kumasi Asante Kotoko completed uh, a national poll by the fans to determine which particular kit design to go with for home and away matches for the upcoming season. We can also talk about Adonko Next Level Energy Drink, which is also signed as official energy drink sponsor for the next three years. The... Um, Appliance Giants, uh, Hisense, are also in a partnership with Kumasi Asante Kotoko, and it's for the next three years. We can also talk about the Seek virtual streaming service. And of course, this is a partnership that uh, Kumasi Asante Kotoko have with Seek uh, in partnership with the Ghana FA as well. We can also talk about Star Life Assurance. Now, Star Life Assurance has gone into a five-year deal with Kumasi Asante Kotoko. And of course, uh, this partnership is one that is similar to that that has been signed with their arch rivals Accra Hartsville. Now, we can also talk about VIO, which is the uh, video monitor system, the video player monitor system. And of course, we can liken it to what is used by the likes of uh, North Zealand FC and uh, AS Roma, you know, and uh, this is supposed to give some very credible you know um, statistics on the player and their performance so it becomes more scientific when we have to do uh, you know some measurements there's also um, instat now instat also gives statistics about players I mean we've always talked about you know uh, players and what they've been able to do on the pitch and you know we, we go back into history we talk about our legends and we're not able to give specific figures as to what exactly they did on the pitch well this is something that's being changed especially with a partnership uh, with that of instat which is going to ensure that Kumasi Asante Kotoko now have proper figures, proper measured statistical figures to go with all the performances that we see on the pitch. So in a nutshell, this is what it's looking like for Kumasi Asante Kotoko in terms of sponsorships and partnerships going into the season. We must note, however, that um, in the coming week, we're likely to hear the announcement of a major sponsor. It could be a shirt sponsorship and it could be another. Well, we're looking forward to that next week, and this has been confirmed by the CEO of the club. So, that's a wrap of the sponsorship situation. Um, look ahead to that major one where we'll look generally at what the other clubs are doing, you know, ahead of the start of the season. Muftal, back to you in the studio. Matt, I think you're a prophet, because when I was in primary school, and even JSS, I was playing number six. Uh, so, <laughs> I was a very wonderful midfielder, uh, so cool. talented to the extent that, Charlie, uh, I could have even been the next Zidane or so Javi. Or, I, was, I was extremely that good. Pastor Eric, Richard. I could have stopped you from scoring goals. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm couldn't even stop But let's do some <laughs> comments that have been coming on social media. Um, Mark Libes, he says that I'm enjoying the show. Uh, it's so nice. Keep it up. There's also this one from Michael Yao Ofer, who says uh, uh, he's sent out this message from Choco. Kotoko will win the league and reach the semi-finals in Africa this season. Daniel, he says that Asante Kotoko is the best team in Ghana. There's also Jake who says we are li uh, loving GPL Primer. Uh, this one from Rodman, he says he's watching live. Uh, Porcupine Tertiary, more fire. And then this one too from Rodman again, he said loving the show, more fire from Porcupine Tertiary. AC, and he says that, oh, I wish you guys can do this program every single day. Oh. <laughs> we, we, we need to wrap up because... Uh, that messages continue to flood them, but we've got something special 
because we have a partnership with La Liga. The Joy Sports team have a partnership with La Liga, and we're bringing you a special master class for Ghana Premier League. Wow. Um, it's something that is extremely special. Um, the Queen, just, just in one minute, you need to, to wrap up. This is the master class on your screens right now. Joy Sports and La Liga master class for Ghana Premier League, something special. We've brought you the House of Oak edition of GPL Primer. We are doing the Kotoko edition. We brought you the countdown, the first ever transfer deadline day. It has never happened. Joy Sports brought it to you. Now we are bringing you this partnership. Come on. This is the only network and the only team you need to follow for everything you need to know about Ghana Sports. Eric, in one minute, just wrap up a preview of Kotoko's show, then we'll use the jammer to, to end the show. It's been fun. I isn't it? <laughs> first of all, I need to congratulate Multimedia. Gary and all the guys. Now it's like when you're talking about total sports. Just be extremely brief. For me. Yeah. If you're talking about total sports and you don't talk about multimedia, it's like shaving your armpit without twisting your mouth. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, as, so as the saying goes to uh, Nanaya and his team yes. are on a good, I mean, path. path yeah. Which I think. The division and then the politics and everything have Must to come to a hold. Yeah. Let's all follow one course. And one, we, we know that Kotoko is paramount. I think things will go on its way. Thank you very much for staying with us. It's been fun ride. It has been a fun ride. Thank you to the Joy Sports team. Our colleagues at Lava FM, especially Dali Atiasi and uh, um, Calvin Oguso and Sir, and also the, the media team of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. It's been wonderful working with you. Next week, you'll be joining us for the Omnibus edition. Hans Mensah, Andor, and I will be here. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for letting us into your homes. Take us home. My name is Professor Emmanuel Bobobi. I'm an agricultural engineer. In fact, uh, the rank of associate professor, and I'm the vice presidential running mate for the CPP in the 2020 uh, December election. I've been actually uh, a lecturer in this university since 1998, and uh, my research interest or focus has been in agricultural mechanization. You know, I'm taking you to my uh, research field, research farm, where over the years I've been developing or demonstrating mechanized